Hey everyone, Katie Vibes here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we're going to be going through this random mixture of, looks like all generations except for G5. That's the only generation that I don't have for My Little Pony. Um, but otherwise I have all the core ones, including G3.5, which is kind of like the outcast of the group. But kind of G2 feels that way too. But anyways, besides the point. I have no idea why this box exists. It was, I found it in my garage, just like kind of tucked away. And it's a mixture of ponies that I'm definitely keeping that I know for a factor for my collection. And then a bunch of ponies that I know for a factor for sales inventory. So I have no idea why I would have mixed those two together or if I even was the one to mix them together. Doesn't matter. Point is, I have found the box. So we're going to go through it together. Just keep in mind that 90 to 100% of what you see in my videos is for sale. Because of that, I don't tell you when something's for sale. Instead, I tell you when I'm keeping something. So if I hold something up and I say, hey, I'm keeping this, obviously it's not for sale. If I don't say I'm keeping it, it is for sale. If it's for sale, odds are it is also for trade and I would love to do a trade. I haven't done a trade in over a month and for me that just feels like forever. So if you wanna do a trade, please let me know. I would absolutely love that. But of course, if you wanna buy something also, let me know. Oliver, would you like to say hi? Come on, would you like to say hi? Or just be shy and sound off camera? Say hi, say hi. Look, even Mauser came to say hi. Say hi. Shoved his mouth in my mouth. Okay, all right. I'll be right back. Okay, let's uh, let's get started, shall we? We're starting off with the G1 Masquerade. Now, I remember when I got this one, actually, and the only reason I remember this one specifically is because she's a little caved in, as you can possibly see. So she's been, like, pushed down here. Um, this happened before I even got her. So she came this way semi easy fix i'm not going to say a totally easy fix um sometimes it can be a little difficult especially depending on how they're caved in this one's a bit strange so it might be a little bit harder than the usual ones that i have to fix but what you would do is you would take off the head might have to boil this one or just use an exacto blade it seems like only right here is like really really sealed on there yeah you can boil them to get their heads off easier or again you can very very carefully use an exacto blade although that's not always the best method to go with and then you can either put something inside if you need to push them out and then just keep it there for like a few weeks. Or you may need to squeeze something, you know, or have something that squeezes them to get them back in the shape. And basically you just keep them that way for a few weeks. Don't whip me with that toy. He has a bad habit of coming up behind you and just whipping his toy. He's right there, right behind me. Nope, I saw you're about to do it, I'm sure. Anyways, ooh, so we have a wave dancer. Now, I don't know if this is my wave dance or not, but when I looked, like, I, like, kind of pulled stuff away to, like, figure out what the hell was in this box, I found a lot of baby sea ponies in here. My only sea ponies I have on display are ones with their sea floats or with their conch shells. Told you, he's, wave he's trying to hit me. He's trying to, he's trying to beat me. So it's a little dark, but yeah, as you can see, only the sea ponies that had floats and conch shells are the ones that I put on display. Because at the time, I didn't have these little cups that I filled with some beads to make it look like water. So I didn't have a way to get the ones without floats to stand up, but now I do. After I figured that out, I couldn't find my sea ponies, and I think I finally found them. However, I do have a wave dancer for sale. That's why I need to get this little mark off, but it shouldn't be hard. Probably just have to use some acetone. But anyways, I do know that I do have Wave Dancer for sale, so if anybody needs a Wave Dancer, while this one is from my collection, I do have others for sale. And then we have a G3, our first G3, right? Would you stop hitting me? That's rude! Okay, G3, I believe this is Charlie. I'm really good with the G1 names. Anything after G1, eh, we're pushing it on the names, basically. Eh. Whoop. We had two that wanted to come out, but it looks like Baby Crumpet has one. This is a G1 First Tooth Baby. And this is Baby Crumpet. Now, I don't know if this one's for my collection. I have to check my box of babies. I haven't finished inventorying them yet. But I do know for a fact I do have another one for sale. So I do have one of these for sale, even if that one is for my collection. And our first G4. So this is actually called a pearlized pony, which I don't understand because this is definitely not pearlized. This is a sparkle pony. If you guys know G1, think of G1 Sunspot. You know what I mean? Like, they're semi-translucent. You can't really see through them, but you can see the light through them. Whereas a typical pony, you can't see through them at all. So, and, oh, and they have glitter in them, like sparkle ponies. Why they decided to go with pearlized, I don't understand. Let me show you a pearlized pony. Pearlized. So we have a G1 baby pearlized pony. They did not make adults pearlized for whatever lame-ass reason. So we have a G1 baby moon dancer here. And yeah, definitely not pearlized. That would be a sparkle pony. 
Sparkle Pony. Why they went with Pearl Eyes, I don't know and I don't like it. We have Spunky. So it's actually a G1 Pony friend and actually my Pony friends are all on display. I actually have the complete set for this release. And um, this is my second Spunky for sale. So apparently I, I have two of them. So if any two people are looking for Spunky, I got you. G1 Rampa. She is a Happy Tails pony. You can see two little rabbits on her. I need to see if I can clean that off without removing the cutie marks. That might be a tough, tough one to get off, but we'll, we'll do our best. This looks like nail polish, so it should be pretty easy with some acetone. It should come right off. I'm not worried about that. Her hair is still really pink. I mentioned that because she has what's called fading pink hair, meaning it typically starts as a much vibrant pink than that, and unfortunately eventually fades to white, but hers is still pink, so that's cool. Oh, we have little Woody. She's one of the pony friends. However, she came with an accompanying baby pony who's probably in this box. I'm going to set her aside for now until I find her friend. Boop, flutter pony. So I definitely have some of these for sale. I need to see if this is the one from my collection or not, but I don't think so. I think this one is for sale as well. And I am very happy to say her hair is very pink. It doesn't look very pink because of this light. My light always makes pink hair look a lot paler than it is. It is very vibrant pink. You'll see if I send you some pictures of it, but I always include some what I call placement wings when I sell flutter ponies. They're basically just like really cheap, quickly made wings, but they still look better than having no wings at all. So all of my flutter ponies come with those. G1 Pillow Talk. Now this one is definitely from my collection. Definitely needs a good deep cleaning. I don't know if you guys can see, but she's a bit grimy. And uh, this is definitely from my collection. I say that because when I was doing my inventory of adults, I could not find Pillow Talk for the life of me, I looked in like a couple of different boxes. I literally re-emptied the boxes because I knew for a fact I had Pillow Talk and couldn't find her. But yeah, it's because she was in this box. And she even has a little cutie mark up by her face. And she came with the Slumber Party pack. Oh, we got another one of these. Sparkle Ponies. Not pearlized Hasbro. Oh my gosh, I totally remember getting this. My G1 mug. It's kind of yellowed a little bit. I wonder if the whole thing's yellowed or is it just the spot that's, I almost dropped it. We're not going to try opening it right now. Oh my God. I would have been freaking mortified. Holy hell. Um, but yeah, there's that. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it to drink from or if I'm just going to keep it on display. I really want to know if it's all yellowed though, but it, it, it has like a slightly yellowed look. I think you guys can see that. But I got this, um, on a My Little Pony form and I need to go check that form. I haven't been on there in a really long time. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Now, this is a G4 McDonald's pony. I have tons of these. This is Applejack. Tons and tons of them. So, if you're looking for a certain character, here's another one. I probably have that specific character. Oh, we got three littles. So, I'm going to pull them all out together because they all look like, yep, they're all G3.5s. So, we got two of the exact same one right here. And then this one. So, I'll probably sell like two of them in like a set and then this one solo. But, of course, you can buy this one solo if you want. So, there's those. Now, just know, when it comes to, like, I only collect G1, My Little Pony. Some G... I collect everything G1. Some G3. I want to collect G2, but I haven't started yet. But anything after G3, I don't collect it. So, if you ever see anything G4, G3.5, automatically know it's for sale. Then we've got this pretty little ballerina baby. So, these are cool because they're poseable. Their arms move. Even their back legs. I don't know why I said arms. They're not arms or legs. Her hair is still very, very pink. She's another one that has fading pink hair, and hers is very, very pink. She's in really nice condition. I have other uh, baby ballerina ponies for sale. Ooh, so I'm going to pull these two out together. Ta -ta -da! These are my color swirl ponies. I adore these. Um, not the hugest fan on their pose or, like, their body shape. I was really never big on, like, the really long, lean G1 ponies. But they're made in my birth year, so they hold a very special place with me. I only need one more to complete this collection. If anybody has it for sale or especially for trade, please let me know. I probably won't pay what she typically goes for. That's why I would rather do a trade. Um, but if buying, I would rather buy her with multiple things so I can get a bulk discount. That's how I buy my ponies. That's how I get my collection the way that I do. Uh, so, yeah, if you're selling her for her typical going rate, I wouldn't be interested. But if selling bulk amounts, um, you have multiple things for sale that you're willing to sell, you know, like, $150 worth of stuff and sell multiple items at discounted prices or you want a trader, please let me know. I really want to complete that collection. But we got it just ahead. Just ahead. And I know the body's in here because I remember getting this one. 
and I have no idea, yep, still don't know, how to get this damn head on. As you can see, it just doesn't go on all the way, and she's really dirty and gross. Um, definitely needs a tail and hair in general. She's a brush and grow pony, but yeah, no idea how to help to get this head on, so that'll be interesting. G3 Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash, the G3 version, came in many different poses, by the way. I think this is Sky Wishes, I'm pretty sure. I believe this is G3 Sky Wishes. We have a G1 Baby Stockings. Now, if anybody needs baby stockings, let a girl know. This is now, I think, six. I think I literally have six of these baby stockings for sale. No idea why, but I keep acquiring baby stockings. Don't know. So if you need baby stockings, let me know. This will come off really easily, maybe with some acetone, but it'll definitely come off. So I think I can get her looking good as new. Looking really, really nice, really, really white and vibrant with really beautiful curled long hair. So if you need a really nice looking baby stocking, I got you. Like I said, I got six of them now. We got some G2s finally. So this one has both the gems in her eyes. All of the G2 ponies, as far as I know, come with gems in their eyes. Not good with the names on the G2, that's for damn sure. Well, we're leaving My Little Pony for just a moment. So this is actually, I believe they're called Miss Dinosaurs or something like that. They're by either Tyco Playtime or Playtime Tyco. I can never remember which one it is, like which order it is. And it was made in 1993. There's the info on the bottom, if you can see it, maybe. But these are considered really rare. Um, I do need to fix up her hair. It's a little dry and it's all crazy, so I do need to curl it. So I need to look and see how the curls are supposed to look. And then I'll get her all dot up, looking pretty, and get ready for sale. So her, because she is worth a decent amount, I mean $100 or more, I'm probably going to end up only selling her. However, if you have stuff I really want, especially like multiple things that will equal her value, I'll consider trading. But I would prefer to sell her, but I'm open to trade. So don't not ask just because you can only drink. Oh, and we got our friend. So yeah, these are for my collection. These are not for sale. Oh, speaking of a pair, <laughs> that worked out nicely. This pair as well. And these ones are also for my collection. They are not for sale. And I get them cleaned up again, but yep, those are mine. And here are some of the ponies. So I'm gonna just dig through and find my sea ponies that I have been looking for because they were in this random ass box. This is Baby Celebrate. She would have come with, is that it? Is that all the money? Oh, wait, no, one more. I think one more. Doo -doo. So yeah, Baby Celebrate would have come with the party pack, which would have come with um, G1, Twinkle Eyed Party Time. Um, would it come with a Flutter Pony, maybe? What else did it come with? I don't remember. But those two were there, so that, that's all that matters. <laughs> this is a G1 Concave Foot Blossom. So this would have come with a concave foot and a flat foot version. Flat foot version would have come out first in 1982. It would have been one of the very first, well, one of six of the very first ponies released. They realized with the flat feet, they did not stand very well. They tipped very easily forward. And so they remade them with what they call concave feet. And that's going to be the feet you see on every pony after the first original six came out with flat feet. Oh, another G2. Very bright. Um, this one, I think, the head moves the tail. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I knew the tail did something, so it's like this little like thing to keep it like all together from not tangling. And it looks like she's actually missing one of the gems in her eyes. Now, I've been online trying to find eyes, or gems, I should say, for the G2 pony so that I can always fix them up anytime they're missing some eyes. I do have a few G2 for sale, and I do have a few that have no gems, so I want to get them fixed up. Sticking with the G2s, I think this is the last G2 in here that I can see at least. So here's another G2 for sale. And I don't think this one does anything. Now their heads are poseable, which is really cool with the G2 that you can like move their heads around. So if you want to pose them forward, or you can pose them to the side, you, know, you can really decide what you want to do, which I really like. Another brush and grow. And I remember getting this one. I was so disappointed with this lot. Got, I don't know, probably like 20 ponies or something like that. They did not disclose that they pretty much all had haircuts and had this glitter nail polish on them, a lot of which were on their eyes. So I'm really nervous to get it off. I'm going to have to see what I can do. Obviously, she needs to be rehaired as well. I've never rehaired a brush and grow pony, although it looks like her mechanism does work because you can see her tail is actually getting shorter. Um, but yeah, let me pull it out. Oh, she does have way more hair than I thought. Holy crap. Um, that surprised me. I she had way more tail hair than I thought. Geez, it's it should be longer. I mean, it should pretty much be down to like here where you can see these stragglers. 
So I still need to rehair her. Obviously, her mane's way, way, way too short. Again, this should be like way down here. But um, that's cool. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not as bad. I do sell them when they're in this condition. And then if you want to fix them up yourself, obviously you would get a discount buying it like that. But I definitely don't mind fixing it up myself. Then we have baby cuddles, one of the more common baby ponies. And baby blossom. Both of which are for sale because I definitely have those for my collection already. You're considered one of the more common ponies you can get. We have a fakie. Some buds for uh, headphones. Awesome. A ping pong ball. Awesome. Oh, we have another G4. I don't know if I've seen this one before. It has um, two dolphins on it. Definitely needs her hair fixed up because it's, it's pretty dry. So... Probably wouldn't waste the money and the time rehairing this, but I can probably get in some really nice looking curls and you won't even tell how dry it is. Then we have this little baggie. Looks like we've got some brushes, some accessories. I have tons of accessories and brushes for sale in case anybody needs any of those. Um, this girl, I don't remember, I think I got this for Christmas like many, 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 many years ago. And, um, but I will be selling. I don't collect G4 and it doesn't have like a very special place in my heart or anything. I can't even remember exactly where I got it. So. For that reason, I'm going to let her go. Oh, that snapped back in. This is definitely not going to snap back in. Either way, I'm going to glue it and make sure that it all stays together. So we're going to put her back in the bag for now. We have this, which goes with the castle. I think this one's mine, but I'll check. So if you are interested, let me know. And this is a Remco Pony. Also released in 1982. Now, these are actually called My Pretty Pony. Yeah, My Pretty Pony. But a lot of people just call them Remco Ponies because that's the company that made them. It actually says it on the bottom of the hook right there in 1982. So these were released to compete with Hasbro's My Little Pony. That is why Remco called them My Pretty Pony. Probably hoping parents would get mixed up when their kids asked for them. But Then we've got another G4. I've never seen this one before, ever, ever, ever. I think those are, I'm pretty sure those are kites. It looks like a diamond up here, but definitely kites on the leg. And a beautiful G3. Now, I don't know if I have this one or not. If I don't, I'm definitely keeping her. But again, if you're interested in this one, let me know. I'll do my best to check my G3 inventory as quickly as possible and let you know to make sure I have a duplicate for myself first. Uh, another McDonald's. So this one actually would come with like a, a clip and you can have them as keychains. My bad. And then Princess Celestia, I do believe. Another McDonald's release. Another little G3.5 making a cake. It's actually kind of cute. Cute for being a, a 3.5. Not, not my cup of tea. We've got a G4, another black one. So I'll probably sell those two together once I get the one fixed up. No idea what his name is, but pretty sure it's a boy just based on the hair. Another fakey who. Hmm. I think that's a factory error. It doesn't even have holes. There we go. The holes aren't even stuck through. That means this one would have been sold and it never even had hair. Yeah, I can squeeze it. You don't see it, it doesn't open at all. So it's like they, they started the dots like where the hair should go and they didn't actually like punch them in. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. For a fakie collector, that might be really cool. This is a factory error fakie. So very interesting. And pretty much to finish it off, we just have a couple more. I got these two in this bag, which are G4s. So we got, um, oh, this is uh, Lyra, Lyra Heartstrings. I only know that because I've sold a couple recently and I had to look up their name. And this one, who I've never seen before. So that's cool. Definitely have quite a few G4 ponies you don't usually see. I have tons of others, including um, some pretty rare ones as well, in case you're interested in those. Not My Little Pony by any means. I have no idea. Let's see, usually dolls are behind the head. I think it says Famosa. So whatever that is, I have to do some research, but got this cute little mini Famosa doll. Actually, it's really cute. I think she's adorable. I don't collect dolls or I would totally keep this. This is really, really cute. And lastly, a bag of G2 ponies. These are actually McDonald release ponies. This is the full set from this particular release. You got the white one, the pink, and the rear ring green one. So it's Ivy. And I can't remember the other ones. <laughs> But, yep, if you need a whole set, I got you. Or if you need them individually, I also got you. So that's it. That is the entire freaking box. Holy crap. Again, no idea why I mixed them together, like, at all. 
but uh, I did and here we've gone through them so I'm gonna organize what's for sale and trade and then what I'm keeping for myself the ones I told you I'm keeping are the ones I'm keeping I don't think I told you with the Remco I do collect these I do collect some vintage fakies when they're in excellent condition I think I can get her cleaned up and looking really nice so most likely I will be keeping this one but I do have other Remcos and other fakies vintage and newer for sale so if you're interested in any fakies definitely let me know and uh that's it check out the links in the description below if you're interested in buying anything you're trading for anything also let me know on my sales instagram which is linked in that description down below thank you guys so much for watching and as always have a good one bye